Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Phantom Strategies. Hope you're all doing well. Um, so, um, wanted to bring you a quick update for um, XRP Ripple. I'm still on the road. I have mentioned that in the previous video. I was under the weather for the uh, last couple of weeks. Um, <clears throat> just getting uh, back to normal, uh, but I'm still traveling right now. Um, but wanted to give you a quick update for Ripple. All right. <clears throat> So Ripple right now is trading around 30 cents, and if you look at the if you look at the overall market, it has been pretty flat for last week, um, almost a couple of weeks now, and uh, it haven't really done much. But what is um, on a positive note? What I see is uh, there is not a, enough selling pressure uh, that can create that downward momentum. Um, I don't see that in Bitcoin. I don't see that in the any of the bigger coins. And um, and if I look at the bigger picture on the monthly, things were um, much oversold uh, for last one, two, three, four, almost five months. Uh, we have been on the down channel, so it will be really hard to keep on pushing it lower. Uh, so that is a positive sign that we might see a upward momentum soon. But again, um, the follow through is the key. We might see like spikes, but if you don't see a <clears throat> if you don't see a proper follow through of those like you know upward momentum, then uh, the buyers and the bulls will lose interest pretty soon. So um, those are the couple of things that we have to keep in mind, and also the volume um, in the coins. If we are getting a nice uptick in the volume, that will always uh, show us a good confirmation and give us a good confirmation on. Um, that things are getting better and going in the right direction. So um, right now I'm still like you know not doing much as far as the trading goes in crypto. Um, need to see some positive momen uh, momentum on the upside before uh, pulling the trigger. On the downside we are <clears throat> touching the supports on uh, Ripple and it's it's pretty much going to be trading uh, with overall market, but again, Ripple is one of the coins that will um, that will you know bounce fairly uh, fairly nicely when the mar market turns upward. So do keep that in mind. Um, <clears throat> let's look at Bitcoin real quick. Again, like Bitcoin, um, we had some momentum again. Um, and we are coming up against the 50-day moving average resistance. So let's see if we can get over that 50-day moving average. Uh, that will be the key, all right? So keep it simple. If we are over the 50-day moving average, I'll be bullish um, or we'll start looking into buying. And if it's below 50-day, then um, we just have to wait it out, all right? Uh, the 200-day moving average, the green line right here, is quite further away from the current trading price that tells you there's a big um, variance between um, the trading price and the 200 day moving average so that gap will fill it, it should fill for, um, <clears throat> fairly soon so if I just look at the price range from the current uh, trading price to the 200 day moving average that's about 50 percent 48 percent so that's a that's quite um, that's a big uh, gap all right so that should get some momentum that should give us some momentum on the upside uh, for Bitcoin all right uh, um, so just to recap XRP um, it's one of the good coins that I have been trading this I have been holding this as well and I, I see there's some uh, there should be some momentum that should come in XRP fairly soon we are coming near the apex um, near resistance is the 50-day moving average which is 32 cents if we can clear that then we can have the run toward 38 39 cents all right uh, so that will be all for today and uh, I've the videos like you know I, as I said I, I, I'm on the road right now so it's hard to find um, uh, time to make this video but I will be uh, back to normal in a couple of weeks and um, I will be making the regular videos uh, and sharing them on YouTube. Alright, talk to you soon.